Zero, they call me. Hey, let's play and welcome to chapter two of the finale with Hero They Call Me and Yakuza 5. This one's called Hidden Past. Last episode was about a half hour, so I'm assuming each one is probably going to be roughly around the same. Maybe the last chapter being super long. But yeah, uh, what's his face got uh, murdered? Uh, made it look like a suicide, but he's definitely been murdered. It was uh, the baseball manager, I forget what his name was. And then I think they left the Omi Alliance pin behind, if I recall correctly. Correct. Date-san! How many times do I have to tell you? Keep your voice down at the crime scene. Yeah, you might scare off the evidence. What is it? Well, the pistol in this victim's hand. We found another set of prints on it. Two sets of prints? Yes, I'm afraid that's not all. The Shibara Wharf body we found last night. The ex Tojo clan guy? These prints match what we got from the uh, Mor Morinaga murder. What the hell? You got an ID or on this guy yet? Yes. But it's a little strange. Actually, more than a little strange. Really? You just spit it out already. Sorry, we got a match on the prints to, to this man here. Mm -hmm. This is the talent president who's been all over the news? According to the organized crime, the talent agency is just a cover. He's actually a ranking Omni Alliance officer. Like he'd leave his prints on a gun. Come on now. Public security has had eyes on him for a few years now. Guess he's finally showing his true colors, huh? Where is he now? Our source is spotted in a Kamurucho. Apparently he's staying at the new Kamurucho Hills Hotel. It's a Kamurucho? Of course he is. Someone's setting him up. Clearly. Uh, Fukuoka, Sapporo, and Nagoya. Chan is the one behind all of this. That's how it looks, sir. Most of Ahsoka Enterprise's men are already in Kamurucho. The Tojo clan is doing fuck all? It doesn't seem like they're putting up much of a fight, to be honest. Ahsoka Enterprises may have struck some kind of deal with Tojo clan. Now what's going on at Santhabori? Where it is, it's been all but uh, deserted, except for a few holdouts. So he's leaving a sorry Santhabori turf wide open for us, is he? For a guy who acts like he can't give a rat's ass, you're just going to extremes. Come on, get your asses. Get off your asses, get your asses, ready. Get your asses boys. Ready for what? It's time to go to war. March on Tokyo, too. Katsuya ain't getting away with it if I can help it. Yes, sir. Alright. It's gonna be a big old war. I see. Understood. So Watazi and Iki is on the move. No, don't worry. It's too late for him to interfere now. How goes the issue of that other matter? I see. Now all you have to do is wait for all the players to come onto stage. Bye then. This guy knows what a suit looks like. The other guy's suit was way too baggy for him. Oh, hello. We meet again, old friend. Oh, jeez, I have a lot on my plate right now. Part of my proposal. Have you given any thoughts? Akiyama-san. Clearly. That's a lot of money. Well, for a guy who doesn't really care about money, that's a lot of money. Or briefcases. What's all the cash? It's for you if you agree to my proposal. 300 million yen to cover what you loan to Parks on, plus an extra 200 million for your trouble. 500 million, huh? That much uh, for pulling out of a concert at the Japan Dome? That's right. Haruka Sawamura's debut is scheduled for the day after tomorrow. Just make sure it's dead. 
It'll be easy. I already spoke with the event organizer. You don't have to worry about ticket cancellation fees or anything. Osaka Town will cover it all. With all this money will go directly to us. Yes, to spend as you see fit. But if you're at a loss for ideas, there's always Haruka Saruma's future living expenses to consider. Why do you think she'll need the money? Well, bowing out of this concert won't exactly earn her a good reputation in the industry. Nobody will want to work with a girl who couldn't handle her first big chance. She'll have to give up her own career. Such links just across teenage girls' dreams? That's not why I'm doing this. I just don't want her to play a concert there right now. If she gets up on that stage, she might... Well... Mm -hmm. Never mind. This is simply a business transaction. It's a strategic move to stop her from gaining ground on her preferred idols, Tisa. That group is our most promising act. There will still be a concert, but Tisa will form Ruka's place. Just imagine the fanfare when Osaka Town and Best Young Idols make their debut at the Dome. It's great marketing. You say so. Was that a yes? Are you accepting my offer? Like, no. <laughs> See ya. You're a strange one, katsuya san How so? The more I hear you talk, the less I understand you. You're a good actor, though. One of the best I've ever seen. But I still don't see you as a bad uh, as that a bad guy you make yourself out to be. Oh, really? It's all the nefarious things I've done in Osaka. They strike you as not that bad? Oh, they strike me as vile, but it still seems like the real monster is Kanai. He was the one pulling the strings. In fact, he was acting by himself, wasn't he? When I first met you in your office at Osaka Town, we talked about Park Song. Even now, I still remember the look you had on your face. What look? Look at real emotion, cracking the facade of an actor who's played a thousand roles. See, I expect you to pretend to be sad, but you seem generally sad and angry. I have to admit, it made me very curious about you, Katsuya-san. Enough stalling, what is your answer? I refuse, obviously. It's Park Song's dream for Haruka to pull with the dome. For the sake of a dead woman, you're willing to make an enemy out of us? Not just Osaka Talent, but all of the Osaka Enterprises? The hesitation. Hmm. He's seen you then. You can't offer a guy a bunch of money when he literally doesn't give a shit about money and he has a shit ton already. Like, come on. So to be fair, he should have been like, hey, you want 500 million yen? <laughs> I don't know how much that would be, but... But we're really up against it here. Time to head back to Sky Finance, come up with a plan. Alright, let me just uh, take a little looksy poo, make sure there's no sub stories. There isn't, so we're gonna head to Sky Finance, and I'll catch you guys there. Turns out we actually do have a sub story. I don't know how I didn't see it on the map, but right here. Damn it. What about me is on hip? Hmm. I know that guy. That's right. That's Sade san. He's a regular at Elise. Sade san. Huh? Well, if it isn't Elise's owner himself, hello, Akiyama san. I'm measuring it to you here. Is there a problem? Not so much a problem, but Akiyama-san, I need you to be honest with me, yes? I'm really on the add-on hip. I'm sorry. Well, am I? Uh, well... I'd say so, yeah. I'd say so, yeah. So, I really am on hip. Why is that? Uh, polka dot tie, homie. It's not exactly something I can pinpoint, but there's just something a little off, I think. Well, that doesn't help me. What am I supposed to do? Hold on, hold on. Who brought, who brought this up? Well, you know, uh, how our firm regularly uses our club to entertain clients? Yes, of course. We do appreciate your patronage. I have a confession. I follow up for one of your hostesses. It's Miyu-chan. Miyu, huh? I wanted to get to know her better, so I built up some courage and asked her out. She shot me down. You're just not hip enough for me, she said. I see. So that's what, you, uh, uh, that's what has you down. I don't mean to toot my own horn here, but I'm a successful businessman with a top name company. I have a certain level of confidence in myself. Being close to 40, I know I'm a bit old, but I wouldn't say I lost my looks. The suit I'm wearing in the latest in today's fashion, too. True, people in the know would recognize you very well off. You're very well off. If she turned me down because she doesn't like me as a person, well, that wouldn't be great either, but I couldn't at least come up with terms with that. But to say I'm not hip enough, I just don't understand it. Did Mew say anything else about that? I actually was so stunned by her rejection, I stumbled out of the club without uh, probing any deeper. Pathetic, I know. I see. Hack Amazon, please, can you ask Mew-chan why she thinks I'm so unhip? It's honestly out of my hands. If you have a complaint about our service quality, I'm all ears. But if it's a private matter, please! I'm so ashamed by this. If I don't fix it, I won't be able to go to your club ever again. Damn. What to do? He's a loyal customer and a big spender. Turn him down and be bad for business. I'll accept. All right, sure. I'll chat with you. You will. Thank you. Got to hand it to you. Your uh, to your own negotiation skills. How could I turn down a regular when they're threatening not to return? Ah, <laughs> sorry. Oh, we're at the club. Mind waiting here? Of course. Oh boy, another fine mess. You should still be at least. I better go talk to her. All right, we'll go talk to her. Literally right around the corner. So this way. Let's see what she hates him for. This is Elise. He's like he's a fucking creep. He's got a tiny peeper. 
Mew, do you have a minute? Oh, hi boss, for you always, what do you need? Sadison stopped by earlier, right? Yes, he did, what about it? Well, no sense being around the bush, what made you turn him down? Are you kidding? He's not hip, he's a wonderful customer, sure, but he's, yeah, but he's been in public, uh, but to be seen in public together, he's just so unhip, right? You say that, but is it really true? Sadison wears the latest fashion from all the top brands, he's far better dressed than most guys, wouldn't you say? Not you too, boss, you don't get it either, that's exactly what makes him so unhip, what do you mean? And that's fashion sense is so, how do I put it? It's like he's a mannequin and so neat and tidy and boring. Well, now that you mention it, he does wear his collar button all the way to the top. Guess he might come across as kind of stuffy. He's so prim, pro, uh, prim and proper, even when he's drinking here, a date would be just too tedious. A serious company man married to his job is my idea of fun for a man who knows how to cut loose and enjoy himself. Okay, so would you dress him a little more uh, like me help? In a cheesy suit like that, huh? You only need a touch of playfulness, and a touch would be how much? Come on, boss, instead of counting on me to give you all the answers, why don't you do some research on your own? Okay, okay, fine. Think about my fashion, maybe there's a good magazine at one of the convenience stores. Maybe I could just tell him some bullshit. I'm pretty fashionable with the ladies, not really. I wear fucking kids t-shirts all the time. Alright, let's get ourselves a fashion magazine and uh, figure out what's hit with the kids today. Hey, y'all got fashion magazines in here? Uh, let me see. My pockets are jam-packed, oh crappers. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, let's just go ahead and drink this. A little bit of space, there we go. Like a magazine. Tokyo Walker? The magazine contains information on Tokyo. Shows a certain shop receive a discount. Maybe that, I'm assuming that's what I need, but just to make sure. Dude, I got habanero powder. I should buy that and spray it in someone's eyes. Pretty funny. The rest is drinks, so yeah, I'm assuming that's what it wants me to buy. <laughs> yep, it's looking likely. Absolutely. Alright. I want Tokyo Walker. Unless, you know, I could beat this guy up and st steal his magazine. I should be able to find a fashion magazine here. I just need to find some useful tips. Let's see. What do they have? This was what I was supposed to do. They own a fashion magazine for charming older men. This could be the ticket. Could be. Hmm, all right. The ladies go for mature men with a dash of roguish appeal. The point is to dress appropriately and fashionable for your age, but to uh, accentuate uh, your look with a touch of bad boy. Well, it'll make you seem more open and approachable, upping your charm. Gaga Milano wristwatch. Oh, hey, this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> Hannah Chan got it for me for my birthday. It's got a, a conspicuous design to make it stand out like a neon sign. Maybe a watch like that is, uh, would be roguish, playful touch, spice up give, uh, the guy's fashion appeal without losing dignity. I'm telling you, I gotta go buy him a watch. Good, this could be the answer to that kind of fashion appeal. I mean, you expect some Sida. He needs to hear this. Okay, good. I thought they were gonna make me buy a watch for him. I was gonna be like, yeah, right. There you go, man. Buy a watch. I'm right next to you. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi, Akiyama san I was getting tired of waiting. Did you find anything? I did. Hold on, Sada-san, the watch you're wearing. It's pretty high-end, isn't it? Probably goes for about a million yen. Good eye. A watch plays an important role in defining a man's status. That's why I chose the piece here. Highly respected brand, you know? That's just it, Sada-san, huh? What's just it? That watch. There's no questioning its brand power, and it's obviously a respectable piece of jewelry. <laughs> I don't doubt it, not one bit. At the same time, it also happens to be a very standard choice as far as expressing one's own fashion sense goes. It's hardly unique, huh? Some might say it's even on hip. Oh no, your fashion sense has no sense of freedom. It's just too perfect. Wealthy or not, not many women will be drawn to a man who plays things uh, so by the book. Fine, now what kind of watch do you suggest I wear? How about this? We'll go to a brand shop now and check out some watches. We can continue the conversation there. Okay, let's do that. Did you, did you change the suit or was it always this color? <laughs> looked like it was gray. Mm, the watch I'm wearing appears to be the most expensive one on the market. It's awesome. Comparing price tags will make you more fashionable. You need to be consider the design design. Hmm. Get a kid's watch. Mm -hmm. Hey, your watch. That's a pretty unique design. Oh, you notice it's a Gaga Milano. Gaga Milano. Are those famous? Yes, it's a brand that's been becoming increasingly popular, especially among pro athletes and entertainers. The watch face is uh, design is striking, isn't it? I think it'd make a pretty big statement if I was worn alongside some formal business attire. That's true. If I'm wearing a suit that's formal and reserved, a flashy watch is sure to catch the eye or two. Think about it this way. Even if you're great at your job, you shouldn't have to lose your sense of fun. Let me ask you, do you ever find people who wear a super committed, uh, who, are, who are super committed to their jobs to be a little uh, too much so? As if they have no time for anything but their jobs? Right, I get it now. What I lacked was a sense of fun. I was too much of a, a stuffed shirt. I bought this watch to try to show some of my fun side. 
Show her your fun side, big boy. <laughs> there you go. Can't believe I'm wearing something this flashy. I've worn clothes so con uh, conservatively all my life. I feel like a new man. Great. Now that you're feeling it, why don't you try asking me about it again? Huh? But I... What's wrong? Well, you see, you know how I always used to cl uh, club to your entertaining cl clients? Never been there in my private time. I could never work out the courage going on my own. Huh? What are you talking about? It's no different than when you go into business. This is a private situation. It's completely different, though. Mio would just think of me as some pervy old man if I were to come by myself. No wonder this guy has no hit with the ladies. Leon you know, claimed that woman go from a mature man with a little bit of a bad side. I guess it's not too far far off the mark. Uh, say this on. Yes, you're missing something. What's that? Come with me, I'll show you. Here, you might want to read this. Okay. Hmm. Mature man with a dash of bad boy. I get it. Now, woman like this kind of thing. That's exactly it. What you're missing was that dash of wickedness. You mean that thing about roguish appeal? That's it, of course. That doesn't mean you should actually be wicked or evil or anything. But don't you think there are times where a guy can afford to show off his bad side a little? On a logical level, women seek state stability, but on an instinctual level, they are often attracted to danger. Lots of women seek a lot more than just honesty and decency. The danger side of men. I get it now. What did he do? Did he change something? Oh, I thought he was going to be shirtless. Oh, hell yeah. He unbuttoned his shirt. Took off his glasses, I think. Thank you for everything, Kima-san. I'm going to ask you out again. Excellent. I'm sure you'll succeed this time. All right. I should do it. I better swing by. All right. We'll go swing by. Did you get your pinky stinky? Now, Kima-san, Sada-san, looks like things went well. Yes, they did. I'm going on my dream date with Miyu-chan after her ship. It's all thanks to your advice. I don't know. I just passed on what I read, Leon. Uh, I'm going on a date with the hostess. That makes me feel like a little, like a bad boy. <laughs> it sounds like you gain a lot of confidence. Considering me your customer for life, it's hardly adequate, but please take it. Durable cloth. I don't care. I don't want it. Thanks, but I don't want it. <laughs> Expecting to work out so well. I guess ladies really do like older bad boys after all. The younger ladies, maybe. Alright, let's go do the main mission now, shall we? Alright, after about like 17 billion fights, I finally made it to where I'm just trying to get to. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. I'm just trying to get back to work. Just get beat up constantly or attacked. Super annoying. But I made it. I'm back. Finally. Seven years late. What the heck? Because Hannah Chan is out. Place looks kind of clean for the most part. Uh. Uh, hey you, what are you doing here? What do you mean, hey you? I've been waiting here for her alone for two hours. You work here, don't you? Yeah, I guess I do. What do you want? Yeah, well, actually, I'm looking to borrow some money. That's tricky, you see. Our head office, Kamurucho, is run by Hanachan, the clerk. Or maybe secretary. Whatever, regardless, she's the manager here. I'm not a liberty to be handing out money at my own discretion. Oh, for real? Guess I'm screwed. Out of curiosity, how much did you need? If you would end up here, I'm guessing you got turned down everywhere else, right? Well, it's about... Alright, let's see here. About 320 million yen. Oh, 320 mil. Wait, say what? <laughs> Please, I heard you give zero interest loans. No payments. Uh, payment terms here. The extra 20 mil can wait until later, but it doesn't scrape uh, up through a million today. A lot of lives are going to be in danger. Lives in danger? Trust me, I really need that 300 million yen. Help. Yeah, I can see you mean business. But well, what would you need with that much for? The, the Japan Dome associate major debut tomorrow comes for a singer the day after tomorrow. I have to get it canceled by any means possible. Wait, you mean... 300 million yen is a cancellation fee that would go to the event organizers. You gotta lend me that money. 
shit's gonna blow up. Okay, so the Karor family was in the league with Nagoya family. They rigged games with the Wyverns and the Gigants players, Swata. Man, I didn't expect to hear the Daigo Dojima's name associated with any of this. I was surprised to even know uh, Dojima Khan. Small world, huh? Then again, we do run the same circles. Alright, you convinced me. I'll help you out. But first, you want to stop the concert? What do you need 20 million yen for? <laughs> yeah, what do you need 20 million yen for? What's your plan for that 20 million? You say you could wait till later. It better not be more debt, man. You should have paid that all off when you got the reward from Dojima san. I don't want to do that. Why not? Dojima kun has already given me another crack of my dreams. That's more than enough reward. I never should have taken the 20 million yen. Wait, so you want to go into debt again so you can return the 20 million to Dojima san? That's stupid. I don't need to insult me. Well, I guess your heart's in the right place. Thanks. I knew there was something odd about that at some, anyways. Why do you want to stop the concert so bad? I want to stop the show. He said something about lives in danger. Uh, I don't really know the details, to be honest, but Sawada said the Kurora, uh, Kurora were going to pull something at the concert. Sawada, the Gigant's pitcher? Yeah. He was in line to take over the, the Nagoya, so, his, uh, so he's wise to Kurora's plan. You're sure his in, uh, info is reliable? And you do realize we can't do anything if we don't know their plan. My guess is a bomb. Maybe. Have you told the police? Several times. They don't believe my story. Of course not. You don't have any evidence. That's why the only way to stop them is to cancel the concert. And you want 300 million to pay the cancellation fee. Man, first Katsuya, now you. Everyone wants to show canceled. Oh, you mean Katsuya of uh, Osaka Enterprises? Yeah. Funny thing is, both uh, Kurora and Osaka are Omi Alliance, so why is one planning to do something at the concert and the other is trying to shut it down? Infighting, you think. But why? Some kind of struggle with the leadership changes. The current chairman is Kurora, but apparently he's going to be out of the picture any day now. Uh, Kurora, uh, Kuroha might be trying to consolidate power before the chairman's bites the big one. And maybe Katsuya wants to stop them so that he himself can take over. Makes sense. It's still uh, just conjecture, but now I get why you want to stop the concert, so. Uh, let's finish this up. I've heard enough. Get the picture now. Not hold on here. I wouldn't be surprised if all these events were linked somehow. Me neither. There's just one problem. The girl who's doing that concert, Hiroko Samura, she's under my care. Wait, are you serious? Unfortunately, both she and I are committed to her performing no matter what. She's actually been continuing her lessons in private with uh, folks from the, her agency. I already turned down some someone else's offer to stop the concert, and let me tell you, that guy was willing to pay a lot. But we have no idea how dangerous this might be. I realize the risk, but I won't give up on the show so easily. A lot of people's dreams are riding on it. Dreams, huh? That said, I've been, uh, if we hold the, the event anyways, there's no guarantee the audience will be safe. We gotta do all we can to eliminate any threats. I agree with you on that front. If you agree, you can cancel the events. I can't do that. If I did, Haruka chans dream would be dead. A, a dream that Park's on sacrificed so much for. You have to seize your dream, but you can. There might not be a second chance. Just like that home run of yours. Haruka Chan will, uh, will live her dreams, and I'll make sure she she won't be in danger. How do we do that? First step is we have to find out that they've got everything. Sorry, I'm laughing because the dog is looking at me and beside me. We have to find out what they've got planned. Can I help you? Hi, Lily. I think she needs to go out. How are we? How are you? How are we going to do that again? We don't have any leads in the Kuro family. But Katsuya said he already talked with her at the event organizer. Yeah, event organizer, uh, organizer about canceling. There's no way he did that without using a ton of money or maybe violence to put on pressure. How else could you nix an event at the venue like the Japan Dome in just two days in advance? Unless the organizer's already in cahoots with Katsuya. Fun, fun thought, eh? All right, then let's go play detective with Katsuya. Now, fine. No time like the present. So we just show up there, and yes, I know I'm coming. Can you even odds? Or even heard that? I didn't even read what I said. It's company is Mayo. What? Okay, I gotta pause. We'll be right back. Dog freaking bamboozled me, man. Didn't even have to go to the bathroom. No one knows where they are. Not even Yamamura saw and she runs down a chair now. How does that happen? The company can be reached, but no matter what you ask, they uh, they say you have to talk to the president. When you ask where the president is, they say they don't know. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but there's not much we can do about it. And hey, we don't have time for the normal avenues like that anyways. What's our move then? Uh, yep, and we should ask the people who know this town better than anyone. Ooh. The homeless. I got connections with them. I used to be homeless myself years ago. Huh. Interesting. Circle of friends you got. You bet. Let's see who we can find. Alright. Let's go talk to the homies. By the homies, I mean the homeless. You better bring a little gift with us. Like what? Let's go buy some liquor. A whole lot of it. Sure. Alright. The liquor store. 
stores, uh, <laughs> whatever one, I don't know if it matters, but go to this one first. This is in a store. Where's the store? Here's the store. Welcome. Give me all the liquor you have, kind sir. We need liquor as much as this will buy. 10,000 yen worth of liquor. Thank you again, gentlemen. What are we trying to get a rhino drunk? My pals will go through it faster than anything. Let's go find them. Now the commercial hills is finished. They might be hanging in the hotel district. All right. We'll find out. That's what you want. You want to play? Come here, ball. Get it. Get it. I'll play tug of war while I pl try to play video games. Oh, look who it is. Long time no see. Care for a refreshment? Yeah, we're lost liquor. Ah, oh, you're the best, man. This is perfect for cold. There'll be a party tonight, that's for sure. Yo, there's someone I need you to find for me. It's the president of a company called Mao Inc. Hmm, dumb name for a company, but yeah. See if anyone knows. That'd be a huge help. Here's a 10 yen to make, uh, to call me when you know something. Got it. Oh, that's one guy I found. Is that really gonna work? Yep. They got a robust network for swap info. Let's walk around until he calls me. Alright. Sure thing. Ah, this could be it. Hello? That you, Akiyama? It's me. Thanks for getting in touch. Did you learn anything? Yeah. You know the MEB info booth over on Shinfuku? He wants the top floor of the building next door. Great work. How'd you find the place? Oh, the guys know the place. It's where some of the best food gets thrown out. No kidding. Thanks. You've been a big help. Sure thing. See you around. Simple, simple. Man, I don't know. That's street smarts. Yep. Now let's get our butts over to Shinfuku. Alright. This is the place. No, it's not. This is the place. Yes, it is. Hmm, this looks like the place. This doesn't look good. Uh, who may you guys be? You know your fucking business. Now go on and get that pretty little face out of here. Well, that's all this all we need to know. We're going anywhere to step, so step aside. Yeah, I guess your bastard's got a death wish. Alright, let's, let's get him. Let's get him, he says. Good luck. Oh, excuse me. Stomach's a bit uh, off today, so getting that burp out felt mighty nice. I don't know what I ate. This made me feel this way. Maybe breakfast. Maybe it was the uh, five pieces of bread I had for breakfast. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just the heat. <laughs> Maybe I just have a shit stomach. I don't know. Maybe it's anxiety. I have no idea. It's it's something though. Maybe I'm sick. Cause it's back to back days where I felt like I was gonna puke. At certain amounts of the day. Fucking hell, let's go before the cops show up. That was a hell of a brawl. True that. True that. Oh, hello, Mr. Money Grabber. Where might you be off to? Hold it right there. Aw, oh, man. Came all the way here to see you. We're in a rush or anything, right? I don't know anything, I swear. Famous last words. I don't know anything, not a damn thing. I haven't even started asking questions yet. So you're obviously hiding something big. Real big. No way, I'm just doing what Kachan told me. It's in a money letter like you would show up. I'm supposed to give you the brush off. Kachan, you mean Katsuya? Yeah, President of Osaka Talent. Who else? That's not very good at his job. I could see I know that I would come here. How should I know? All he told me was you'd be, uh, you'd come wanting to know about the concert happening in two days. I was supposed to stop you if I could. That explains why the building was crawling with guards from Osaka Enterprises. Hey, were you trying to run off with that 300 million yen that Park Sign paid you? No, for your information, I was about to take it to Osaka to give it back. But I still wanted to visit her grave, which I haven't had time for yet. Oh, sure, you want to visit her, even though you broke your contract with her and tried to switch to Katsuya. That's not what happened, not even close. Kachan told me he'd already cleared my transfer with her, I'm no, I'm no contract breaker. What a lot of crap. How did she give you the okay when she's dead? Question. Where'd your toy go? You're lying through your teeth. Right, I'll give you some pets. I'm not lying, but he did say it. He and Park San uh, had each other's backs for over 20 years, you know? I mean, he would be the last person to ever betray her, I'm sure of that. Wait, back it up. The two and Park San knew each other? Yeah, I myself used to be Chan's manager. I knew them both back when they were starving artists trying to break into the show business. They both left the stage and ended up working behind the scenes. And they've been close friends ever since. No way. Yes way. Yes way. 
photo. What's that? Proof that I'm not lying. It's a photo of them 20 years ago. The guy behind them was Parkson's boyfriend at the time. Yeah, Majima. I think his name was um, something like, oh, it was Majima. Majima son. Not long after that photo was taken, Kachan hurt himself badly doing a stunt. He was forced to retire. Luckily, Park San and Majima guy helped him recover to find a new job. Majima san helped. Yeah, enormously. See, going into management was the only way Kachan could stay in business. The competition was too fierce in Tokyo. It was impossible for him to set up a new agency here. He went to Osaka, where he was still uh, still room for growth. All he needed was uh, all he needed was an inn with a local yakuza there. Majima was the one who worked all of that out, and Osaka town was born. Majima and Park San parted ways soon after, though. She ended up going to Osaka too and establishing her own agency. Both her and Kachan was living a piece of a dream. Sure, they weren't stars, but it was the next best thing. They worked together to achieve it. But Donnachi and Osaka Town were on a bad turn. Haha, <laughs> that's all fake. There need to be better rivals to great way to generate, generate buzz and publicity, especially in the industry. Right, there were a ton of coverage uh, a few years ago when this uh, hot two girl act switched from Donnachi to Osaka Talent. He said, Oh, so you remember? Yeah, Park San asked Kachan to take them on. She said she said needed some strong competition to motivate them. It was her idea to transfer the soccer talent and make them grapple with the rest of Donna Chair's up and comers. Uh, it's just that sort of scheme she would come up with. I'm, su I'm just surprised that Park San, Katsuya, and Majima san were all acquainted. Small world, huh? Yeah. I guess Majima wasn't in touch with Park San when she died. But she's still in contact with Kachan. I hear they still see each other time to, uh, every time they're both in Tokyo. What? So even now, Katsuya and Majima san are. Oh, it's friends, yeah, it's nice, don't you think? I don't get it. That means Kasuya must have some other reason for canceling the concert. Canceling? I thought it was only postponed. Why do you think that? Well, because Kachana said he wanted to put it pushed back a day. Of course, I don't know what to believe from him anymore. His reason seems sound, though. He needed more time to work out to Quarag for a new song. What on earth is he up to? It's also weird. What on earth is he up to, Lily? Hey, Lily. Well, that's the end of the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you uh, next week with the second to last episode. Until then, uh, you know, leave a like and tell me what you thought. And as always, you're the great gospel here to call me. I'll catch you on the next one.